Are you a user? What kind of user are you? Magagamit ka ba? What I mean is, what kind of credit card user are you? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dynamite Effect and today I'm gonna share with you kung anong klaseng user or what kind of credit card user are we. I am a credit card user and uh, the reason why I want to do this vlog is because I want to share with you guys kung paano ang tamang paggamit ng ating mga credit cards. Remember, lagi kong sinasabi, I don't hold cash. I don't, you know, I don't have cash on my hand, right? I don't have cash in my wallet. What I have are credit cards. So, what kind of user are we? Klase, how do we use our cards or ano yung tamang paggamit ng ating mga credit cards? Ngayon, kung bago ka lang sa aking channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, pakiclick na rin yung notification bell para updated ka sa latest uploads and videos. And please don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. Ngayon pa lang. What kind of credit card user are you? Ako, bilang credit card holder, I'm a, transa I'm a transactor. But I used to be a revolver. Ngayon, ano ba yung difference being a revolver and being a transactor? Kung gusto mo ng financial freedom, mahalaga na matutunan mo kung anong klaseng credit card user ka at kung ano ang tamang pamamaraan ng paggamit ng credit cards. At yun ang isi-share ko sa inyo. I was such a revolver type of credit card holder before. And uh, mahirap nga lang doon is that because you're paying interest dahil sa mga usages na binili mo na hindi mo kagad binigari. So being a revolver is a very, it's a pain in the ass. Mahirap maging revolver because maghahabol ka na maghahabol, nakakabayad ng inyong inutang, and on top of that, you're paying interest because you're not paying it right, you're not using it right, and you're not paying on time. But now, I'm a transactor. Yes! What does it mean to be a transactor? Transactor meaning kung ano yung inutang ko, babayaran ko before it's too late. That's a transactor. In that way, the credit card company do not earn anything from me. They don't profit out of me. They don't get interest out of me. And I'm not paying any interest because I'm using it strategically and wisely. At isha-share ko sa inyo kung paano natin gagawin yan. But before that, I want to share with you kung ano three types of credit card users. The first type of credit card user is the dormant user wherein they don't use their credit card regularly. Kaya nagiging inactive ang kanilang credit cards. The second type of user is a revolver. A revolver means they pay, they uh, they use their credit cards but they don't pay it uh, in full. That is why nagkakaroon ng um, balance forwarded sa next billing cycle po nila. Right? In that case, they would get charged interest or finance charges from the bank itself or from the credit card. At ang pangatlong type ng uh, credit card user is ang transactor. The transactor type is that they pay their balance, their balance in food. So whatever they owe right now, they pay it before the due date. So that is a transactor type. Revolver versus transactor. Which is better? On a consumer perspective, it's always good na maging transactor tayo. Because being a transactor, we save money. Whatever we owe on the first month, Okay, we pay that on its due date, on or before its due date, so we don't get charged any late fee, any finance charges or interest charges by the creditor. But if you are a revolver, of course, hindi natin binabayaran the balance in full, may natitirang balance that is carried forward on the next billing cycle, that's the reason why we get charged finance fee and we pay more so we don't see it so which is better of course it's always been uh, it's always better to be a transactor but for the bank's perspective they love revolvers so yung mga revolvers na hindi nagbabayad agad ng utang ayan tumutu tinutubuan kayo ng banko at doon kumikita ang banko sa atin so ikaw gusto mo bang maging revolver or transactor so now, anong klaseng manggagamit ka? Anong klaseng credit card user ka? Now that you know the difference between being a revolver and a transactor, I just hope that you know how to bring down your balance down to zero para sa financial freedom. Kung meron kang utang ngayon, stop utang-utang muna. Bayaran it in full so you know the bank will stop charging you interest so that you can bring it down to zero. And then by then, you can start using it and just make sure that to pay it in full when it's due. Again, there's nothing wrong using a credit card. I'm a credit card user myself. 
Pero, as long as kailam natin gamitin ito, how to use it smart, how to use it wisely, how to use it strategically, you're on a winning side. I hope may natutunan ka kayo sa ating discussion. Please don't forget to give me that big thumbs up if you agree with me. And if not, then big thumbs up pa rin yan. <laughs> Again, everyone, never stop learning and keep educating yourself. Bye everyone and see ya! Obviously, the better is the transactor. Transactor means they pay their balance in full. So, ang nangyayari, maingay yung paligid ko, nagbabagsakan ng mga gamit dito, at yan ay dahil sa kapatid kong maingay. Sandali lang daw. Ayan! 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 Nagdadahan-dahan pa siya ng lagay na yan. Naglaglagad lahat. Sa Tagalog, magbayad kayo ng utang nyo kapag dapat ng bayaran. The transactor pays the balance in full on its due date every month. Tagalogin ko. Ang transactor nagbabayad ng kanyang utang when it's due. Ang klase ng credit card holder na syempre uh, credit card user na syempre uh, may ingay kapag nagkakitaan.